After our talks in Beijing, our team of James Hitchmaw, Pete Udolph, Cassian Schmidt, Claudia West, and Thomas Rainier and myself took off to the Sichuan province in the southeast of China. This province is home to more species of plants than all of North America and Europe combined, according to our team leader, James Hitchmaw. It's also the site of one of the strongest and deadliest earthquakes ever recorded in history, an 8.0 on the Richter scale, which killed nearly 90,000 people. Fortunately for us, we have a trusty Boeing 737-800 to carry us to Chengdu, the capital of Sichuan, so we know we're off to a good start. We call ourselves the Ecological Avengers. Avengers, assemble. Avengers, board. We arrive after a three-hour flight into heavy rainstorms where the air is warm and heavy and slightly smoggy as well. We've made our first stop alongside the road to the mountains and something has caught James' eye. This guy is amazing at spotting flowering plants at 30 to 40 miles an hour. We're on Highway uh, 318, which cuts through magnificent uh, primary forest. It's sort of evergreen oak vegetation, really. It's a mixture of deciduous and evergreen species. A lot of castanopsis, Quercus, Zelkova, uh, a lot of rhododendron, uh, and it's just absolutely e extraordinary. It's Count the species. Mm. <laughs> Rather a lot. <laughs> oh, I, I would guess in the view here we can see 500 species plus probably. It's incredibly rich. Yeah, the Koidalas. Ah, look. The Stilby. That's the Stilby uh, mm. with a see the leaf there. Uh, uh, yeah, it's it's a it's a it's a it's, no, it's not grandis. It's um, yeah, it's rivularis, rivularis vast something. Um, look at these ferns, yeah. aren't they beautiful? Yeah, and the mixture with the fine textures. I think that's that's a matusia, isn't it? That's, I think yeah, that's, it is. I think it that's, is. I think it's Struthiopteris. I, I think orientalis. Yeah, it's Matosia orientalis. Are you sure? Are you sure orientalis isn't a, an invalid name? But I think some botanists have dumped it. And they just say it's all stuffy opterous. Well, the vegetation on this hillside looks really special to me. I mean, it's got a lot of davidias, and davidias are indicators of vegetation that's very long undisturbed. And just by having davidias here, because they're really rare. So this vegetation is similar to what you have on Aimé Shan, which is regarded as the most important site, perhaps, in, in Sichuan for this sort of vegetation. So the fact this is not reserved or doesn't have any particular protection, that's a real concern for the future. This should really be protected vegetation if it, if it isn't already. We're back in our vehicles, but not for long, as this road, the only route in this part of the province, was wow. blocked by road construction, which we saw everywhere in China. Tom, we're going to turn around and go back, so we'll pick you up there if you want. Okay. We're going to go back because we're going, to, we're going to have to wait too long. It might be two hours waiting. So, well, we haven't got time, unfortunately. 